Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to Team Forbidden's YouTube page. I said Osama the Fanatic back here with an update for Blue Flare. Uh, this is a more pure update for Blue Flare. There are a lot of builds that run the Red Greymon and the Metal Greymon X. Tried it with a couple of test hands. Deck didn't like it. Kept bricking endlessly. So this is a pure full-on blue blue flare. There's, it's gone through a couple of iterations and uh, there's a few changes that can be made to it still to make it a little bit more consistent. <clears throat> it got 8th place at the latest store championship at Card Addiction. First match was of course against the only other blue flare player at the tournament and I'm just cursed in the mirror match and I always lose the mirror match. Fought 2-1 but and then, and then I lost to Bloom Hydra, a deck that it should have a 70% win rate against. Because I misplayed and I was missing that second Greymon to just stall him out for game. And then Andrew's dancing off the side because that's his main deck. So without further ado, uh, pure blue flare. This is ultimate cup friendly. All blue cards, no other colors except for, you know, the Carry Hunt and Tamer, which is blue and black. But this deck just got so much good support in uh, EX4 that makes it a single uh, a better when your opponent doesn't put two bodies on board. So first off, we're starting off with four copies of Wanyaman. Uh, you can run the new egg in EX4 if you like, and the, the new egg is great. Basically it's if on deletion if you have a Digimon in play, it's made to work with this Gallusmon that plays a blue flare Digimon, and if you have a Digimon in play you draw one, but Wanyamon is, it's literally the best blue egg in the game right now. It's the most consistent egg by far. You have a tamer? Draw. Nothing much else to say for that. All right, next into the rookies, we've got a little bit of a low rookie count, but we've got four copies of the Gaussmon from BT10. <clears throat> nice and simple, you swing into this, hope it dies, play your level four bodies, and then just Activate their on plays and go off from there. And then four copies of the new Gaussmon from EX4. Um, that's it. All, you can run the security rookies if you like, the uh, Balukomon, that when it's hitting security, you draw two. But honestly, the more targets that you can hit off of Blazing Memory Boost, the better. So <clears throat> the way that the new Gaussmon works is your turn, once per turn, when a card with blue flare in its trait is played, draw one. And if a card with twilight in its trait is played, you return one digit bond with digit cross requirements from your trash to your hand. For those who don't know, yes, this counts when you play itself. So you can drop the Gaussmon, and because a blue flare card was played, you draw one. Uh, the way to trigger, because there is a way to trigger the second effect, because the dual tamer is blue flare and twilight. So if this is out on the board and you play this for four, you can get you one, draw a card, and then two, you recur any of your metal gray mons back from the trash. This thing is so, so good. And that's it, those are the only eight rookies we run. Wanyamon is mostly there as the blue source for when you get Blazing Memory Boost. Alright, into the champions! Your main boy. This is your main searcher. Blue Flare Greymon. Nof uh, nothing much else to say. Uh, the other thing to note is, and uh, the person who I played Blue Flare at the tournament didn't know this, Remember, you have the two on plays for this. So you can either look at the top four cards of your deck, or you can get a Metal Greymon back from your trash if you've got Kiriha in play. It's not just the male Bergemon that does that. This does it too. And for the new Greymon, we're running two copies of the one from EX4. It's not as good, I'll be honest, as this one, but it's still pretty decent. I mean, it's still a play cost of four, so... It, it doesn't cost that much, and if you have Kiri Hunt in play, if your opponent doesn't have a memory chamber, you just play this, choke them to one. Reveal the top three and add a Kiriha and a blue or black card with Digicross requirements. In other words, <clears throat> Metal Greymon. It's meant to work with the Dark Knight Muntu, but we're not running that because, um, uh, 
Grey Knight's Mon kinda sucks. There's no beating him around the bush. The card is just bad. And not worth playing at all. There is a slight adjustment that you can make that I'll get into later with the level 4s. But from na for now, we're, we're going to go ahead and continue on to the level 4s with three copies of the male Bergamon from BT10. <clears throat> if you have a carry ahead and play, you can get Metal Grimmon from back. <clears throat> if you don't, you just play it from your hand for free. Uh, it's the standard, uh, you know, if you're attacking and your opponent has two or more, you stun. And then three copies of the new one. Arguably the best inheritable in this deck, and you probably should be running four, but I like... Uh, I, I liked having a 3-3 three, three split because there were times in the tournament where having that additional stun really did help. So, from there, <clears throat> we go into the two copies of Decker Dramon because we are still running the Decker Greymon and this card is just... <laughs> this thing is nuts. You, 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 you Bloom puts like a whole bunch of bodies on board and you have enough memory. <laughs> Draw like five or draw six, you should have all your pieces in your hand by then. It's stupid. It's stupid nuts, and I still really love this guy. It's a sad moment in Cross Wars when he takes the sacrifice for Kiriha. Alright, into the fives. The ultimate zoo that this deck is well known for. Four copies of Metal Greymon BT10. You run no less than four of this card. If this card gets restricted, this deck is dead. Well, okay, we've still got this guy now. So, he's basically a bad version of this. But he helps against certain matchups. So, this one, it's been a while since we've had it on the channel. As material save to you, you digicross playing the Greymon and the male Bergamon on top of each other and put this on there to reduce the play cost. So it's normally a seven. Digicross minus two, it would only be a three cost to hard play. Yes, the uh, play cost reduction blockers do hurt this deck a lot. In fact, it basically drops it cold, but you can then still stun their whole board. Uh, the new Metal Grey Mon, uh, so yeah, uh, on play, it gets Rush, and that's an effect that's on this body, so anything you digivolve on top of this, like your Zeg, will still be able to Rush as well. Uh, and then, uh, you can target up to three of your opponent's Digimon that have fewer Digivolution cards than him, and then they can't attack or block until the end of your opponent's turn. For those who don't know, there is an interaction with this card and the Digimon Belphamon. So, the official ruling, Belphamon is a card that says it is unaffected by your opponent's effects. You can still target this with Belphamon, and then when Belphamon, during the end of his turn, becomes Rage Mode instead, that Rage Mode will be stunned. So that, that is the official interaction with that. So you can target the Sleep Mode, who is unaffected as Sleep Mode, but then when it de-digivolves itself down into Rage Mode, it then cannot attack. So, the new Metal Greymon is very similar to this one. So for some reason, the material saves 2 is below the on play. I'm just noticing that right now. That's weird. Mm -hmm. But whatever. Uh, it also gets Rush. So it's basically two extra copies of this one. Except they had to do one thing with this card. And this is another reason I don't like playing the Red Greymons. They specifically specify blue. It has to be the blue Greymon for these, and that just makes me mad. Because <laughs> it's just like, okay, I understand you weren't intending for interactions, but why? Why do you have to specify it on this one? <laughs> That's just so mean. But this helps in some of your other matchups, because while this one stuns the bodies that have fewer sources than him, this one strips two sources. And no, it's not like top two or bottom two like a whole bunch of Digivolution source stripping cards that other blue decks have. This is any two cards you want. So, oh, Examon, you have that blocker inheritable? Get that out of here. Oh, hi, Machine Ramon, you have reboot? Get that out of here. 
uh, it, it's it's nuts. It doesn't stun them, but the and then there's the inheritable that doesn't matter at all. We're not running Great Knights Mon again because the card is trash. You have to build the whole deck around it, and it's not worth it. So our next level fives that we are running are we are running two copies of Metal Grey Mon plus Cyber Launcher. Uh, you're never digicrossing into this thing unless you're extremely, extremely desperate, and even then it's not worth it. Uh, it doesn't have material save. It's got armor purge. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, th this is basically your way to get rid of the play cost reduction blockers. Is you digivolve this over a level 4, or ideally you're supposed to digivolve this over the Metal Greymon to get armor purge. But, yeah, speaking of armor purge, uh, because we have the two Decker Dramons, we are running the Decker Greymon. It's it's weird because this thing is you need to run the Decker Dramon. If you're running the Decker Dramons, I say you definitely need to run this card. You could you're probably not going to be able to do too much without running this card. The other thing that these these two cards also do is if you've got a Z Greymon, you then turn yourself into a blocker with armor purge. So, speaking of, I see a lot of people only running two of this card. I'm opting to running a full three of it. Because I like seeing this card. I like being able to just digivolve on top of Metal Greymon for two, unsuspend, and if you've got two bodies, there's another swing. Potentially that can be for game, depending on how many security you've been chipping from your opponent. I... Don't really understand why people are only running two. But, that's, um... Yeah, Zeke Grimmon, th this thing is, um, uh... It's really cool, it's a nice finisher, it makes it so you don't have to run the hybrid. And a lot of people are still running the hybrids, too, I, I really don't get that. But, eh, whatever. Uh, Zeke Grimmon, this is your finisher, it turns your blue flares into blockers to keep you safe. Alright. Next up, we are running into the Tamers four copies of the new Kiriha Nene. One of the other weird things that I've been seeing is I've been seeing a lot of lists opting to not run that many of this card. They're only running like two or three at most. I'm opting to run the whole four because, I mean, start of main. If there are two more Digimon in play, you gain a memory. You have multiples of these out with the OG Kiriha, which I'm only running two of right now. Because, uh, you know, multiple memory setters usually doesn't do anything. It's good. It's really good. This gets you the extra memory. So you can, if you have all these out, you can start your turn with seven. Means you don't even have to digicross to hard play a Metal Greymon. <laughs> but yeah, Kiriha, it's your memory setter. And it's, it's your memory setter, and it lets you digicross using your Digimon that you save under your tamers. Either via material save, or just the regular save in text. Uh, the one thing that I should note, though, so I already brought up how this card is both Blue Flare and Twilight in relation to the new Gaussmon. There is another interaction that you should know about this deck involving the Z Greymon. <clears throat> so, Z Greymon's on deletion effect saves it and then places a blue Greymon and blue male Bergemon from your trash under one of your tamers with general in its traits. So, the first thing to note about this, I forgot to mention this when bringing it up before, it is treated as both Kiriha Onuma and Nene Omano. So that way you can play it for free off of Blazing Memory Boost or the male Bergemon. Um, one of the things that it doesn't have for some reason is general in the traits. So they made sure that it was Kiriha and Nene to work with their respective decks, but they didn't put general on it for some reason. I'm guessing maybe it's because it was two of them and they thought maybe there was too much room there, but... Basically, what it comes down to is you can save this under your uh, under your Kiriha and Nene, but you have to have the regular Kiriha in order to save the materials for Z Greymon. I just figured that that should be pointed out. 
Next up, we're not doing the options in really any order, but we have four copies of Blazing Memory Boost. Again, like the Metal Greymon, you run no less than four of this card. And I believe the last time that we had Blue Flare, we didn't have Mulligans official in this game. So, Mulligans are a thing now. If you want to play this deck and try it out for yourself, here's the rule of thumb. If you do not see this card in your opening hand, you mulligan. Unless you've got, I don't know, a Gaussmon, a Kariha, and a male Bergamon. Nine times out of ten, if this card is not in your opening hand, you mulligan and hope that you draw it. Because this is the best in-theme memory boost in the entire game. No contest. L literally the only memory boost that's any better is the one that is limited to one copy per deck. And that's just because reinforcing memory boost is broken. <laughs> so, yeah, this card, top six, add two cards with blue flare and play a Kiriha for free. Almost every single card in your deck is blue flare, except for the rest of the option cards. So, unless you are extremely unlucky, which unfortunately I was the other day because I didn't hit a tamer off of it every single game. <laughs> so, <laughs> best memory boost by far. Uh, so, next up we've got four copies of Sorai. <sighs> this option card is busted right now. You flip this in security against, uh, or you play this before Shine Greymon does something, or Royal Knight's turn starts. You flip this in security in Royal Knight's, you just bought yourself another turn. This card is busted. You trash four uh, the top four evolution sources of an opponent's Digimon, and then <laughs> until the end of the opponent's turn, all their Digimon with no Digivolution cards cannot attack. This thing is so good right now, because it just says, okay, Royal Knights, you get nothing. You can't, you can't attack me this turn. Okay, you Omnimon? Okay, cool. Check this. Your turn is now over. It's such a good card right now. Oh, yeah, and Marcus is never going to have evolution sources, so Marcus is never going to be able to attack. Oh, you're, uh, you're Bloom Lord or uh, Bloom Rose? Oh, cool, you played a whole bunch of bodies that don't have any evolution sources on them, or I've stripped them with other stuff. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, let me just strip all the rest of the sources under your burst mode, and up. Oh, look at that, your entire board is frozen, I get another turn. Even though I don't get to unsuspend any of my stuff. And the 50th card that we're running in the deck right now is the one copy of Ice Wall. So, it, it, it's Ice Wall. It's, it, it actually saved me a couple of games yesterday because it's Ice Wall. It's restricted to one for a reason. So what I'm going to do in this next segment is talk about one other thing. So I'm, you may recall that I mentioned earlier that the Decker Greymon package is nice, but it adds another layer of potential inconsistency. Because the nice thing about Decker Greymon is when you Digivolve into it, or when you play it, you can put a Decker Dramon or another Blue Flare Digimon under it, and then you stun a body on the opponent's board. Any, any body, and it can't attack or block. Problem is, this is a 9 play cost and a 2 Evo cost, so unless your situation is really set up, it's probably not going to come up all that much. Yeah, drawing multiple cards is nice if your opponent puts any bodies on board for you, but it basically comes down to there are other cards that you could potentially take these cards out for. So the one other modification that I would make to just keep this as a pure blue flare was I would take these four cards out and put in one extra copy each of all of these. So, as you heard me mention, I had a problem 
with Blazing Blue Memory Boost not hitting a Carry Huh. Having a third copy of Carry Huh for a grand total of seven Tamers might help with that. Male Bergeron, it's the best inheritable in the deck by far. Generic jamming. You, you have jamming as an inheritable. It doesn't get better than this. Well, I, I should mention I didn't get into the on play for the uh, the male Bergeron. So male Bergeron is a pseudo ice wall. However, the problem is it only targets the opponent's Digimon with the lowest level. So that is one thing to talk about it. So playing this thing can potentially save you sometimes. And the third Greymon is just literally if you have I've got six of each right now. If you were counting, seven of each would make it even more possible to see my pieces because I lost a I lost the game against Bloom Lord because I was missing a Greymon to go into to Digicross into Metal Greymon and stun his board. So the third Cyber Launcher is partially because you can use this to Digicross stuff and bounce stuff on the board. Uh, this is, again, your way of dealing with the uh, the play cost blockers. But on the other hand, it's also treated as Metal Greymon, which means Zeke is going to Digivolve for two. The problem between this card and this one is this one is treated as Metal Greymon. This one is not. So if you're going to Digivolve Zeke for two, and if your opponent has two bodies on board to make it free... This will still be a three digit. It'll still be a three digit evolution cost on this, but it'll only be a two off of this one. Then you get to unsuspend, and if they've got the two or more, you get the two memory back, making it free. So, the alterations that if I were to cut the uh, the Decker Dramon package, the alterations that I would replace those four cards with are these four right here. So, guys, that's the blue flare deck. Like, comment, hit that bell down below for notifications, and we will catch you guys later.